program educator here in Guilford County. There are a lot of strong opinions out there about kale. People either love it or hate it. For a while, I found myself in the hate it camp. I didn't enjoy it raw, and I didn't like the ever popular kale chips. But I knew I was missing out on a nutrient gold mine. Dark leafy greens contain an abundance of vitamins and minerals like vitamin K, iron, calcium, and magnesium. It wasn't until I tried adding kale to soups that I began to enjoy it. Today I'll be talking about storage and preparation and share one of my favorite soup recipes featuring kale. You'll want to store your kale and your other leafy greens in a high humidity produce drawer. This will help keep them fresher longer and prevent wilting. When you're ready to start cooking, you'll begin by rinsing the kale leaves under cool running water. Next, you're going to remove the kale leaves from the stem. I like to start by squeezing the leaves around the stem to make it a little easier. Then you'll pinch around the stem and run your fingers down the length to remove the leaves. To reduce waste, you can actually save these stems to use in a different recipe. If you have a high-powered blender, they can be incorporated raw into smoothies. Or they can be roasted or added to a stir-fry. You'll just need to blanch them beforehand. To blanch, add the whole stems to boiling water for about 4 minutes. Quickly remove the stems from the boiling water and submerge in an ice water bath. They can then be incorporated into another dish. I gave my kale a rough chop before cooking. I'll start by sauteing onions, carrots, celery, garlic, salt, and pepper in two tablespoons of oil in a deep pan for about eight minutes. You'll notice the recipe calls for fennel seeds and white beans, but I'm gonna leave these ingredients out. Next, I'll add the potatoes, peeled or not, however you prefer. Then I'll add the vegetable broth, water, and kale. And you might wanna use a bigger pot than I did, but once the kale starts wilting, it shrinks down a lot. I'll bring this to a boil, then cover and simmer for 20 to 30 minutes, or until the potatoes are cooked through. To thicken it up, I'll transfer about half of the soup to a blender, blend until smooth, and then combine with the rest of the soup. Then it's ready to serve. I like mine with a little low-fat cheese and something fresh, like pea shoots or cilantro. I hope this inspires you to try kale again if you didn't like it in the past, or to just try it in a new way. I'll include the recipe down in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about FNAP, please contact your local Extension Center. Until next time!